Welcome to my video on the PS5 basic troubleshooting steps. In this video we're going to look at the four things that can cause your PS5 not to boot after first assembly. And without further ado, let's get into it. The first problem we're going to look at is the PSP's power light turning on for about 5 to 10 seconds and then turning off and never actually booting. Here's a quick demonstration with two PSPs so you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see both LEDs turn on and then after about 5 seconds they both turn off. Normally this means that there's no Pi detected. So in the case of this one, yeah, it's because there is actually no Pi in it. So in this one, we're going to install my Raspberry Pi Zero. Now with the Pi Zero installed, you can see right away when I turn it on, we get backlight. And then shortly after that, the activity light will be on solid and then it'll start blinking. And then you can see at the top, we have the cursor indicating that it's starting to boot. So now in this one, you can see this one's a CM4. Now first we look, and we, it looks like the Pi is installed properly. So we're going to have to remove the carrier board to see if there's something else going on. This is actually a really common problem with the CM4s. I see it quite often. Even though this Pi actually looks like it's installed properly, it isn't. If you look really closely, it'll look like it's a little bit higher, close to the GPIO pins. On this one, you can't actually really see it. But if you press firmly close to the GPIO pins, you'll hear the CM4 click properly into place. Oftentimes, I find that it's clicked in one side well and not the other. And when we plug this carrier back in and turn it on, you'll see that right away we get power light and backlight comes on. And shortly after we get the activity light, and not long after that we're booting now. Now this one's one of the easiest ones to troubleshoot and one of the easiest ones to fix. When you turn on the Pi with the CM4, you'll get backlight on and nothing. And it'll just kind of sit like this until the battery dies. You'll get no activity light, but you do get backlight. So it's detecting the Pi, but never goes any further. So this one, when you flip over the PSP, on the carrier board, you'll see a little switch. USB boot on one side, SD EMMC on the other side. When you have this problem, it almost always means that you're flipped over to USB boot. The Pi won't boot properly, it can't read the SD or the EMMC storage on your Pi if you don't have that switch flipped to the right one. Flip it over and boot it up. Alright, so for problem number three, when you turn it on, you get the power indicator, you get the backlight, and you get an activity light. Activity light is solid on and stays solid on. So when you get this error, it means no bootable operating system detected. So what that means is either you haven't flashed your SD card or EMMC storage correctly, or more likely your SD card isn't inserted properly or inserted at all. So 
So as you can see, in my case, and I flip it over, my SD card is inserted, but it's not clicked in all the way. Now that I've properly inserted the SD card, let's flip it over, turn it on, and we'll see that it boots. All right, so this last problem is a lot less common and it has different causes on both the CM4 and the Pi Zero. And it's where the USB port is good for charging, but it doesn't seem to want to do any data. So I'm gonna break out my really highly adapted cable that goes from mini B to A, to A to C, to C to C, to C to A. That's the only way I can get one to work, and on the other end of it is my keyboard dongle. Now you'll notice here, with my keyboard plugged in, there's no ability to navigate around the screen. I know it's a little hard to see both the keyboard and the PSP on screen at the same time, but trust me, it's not working. So the next thing we do is we're going to shut it down and I'll show you what causes it. So on the Pi Zero, I'll show you first, there are two pins on the Raspberry Pi itself that need to be soldered to the PS Pi board. Uh, on the PS Pi board, they're labeled D- and D+. On the Raspberry Pi Zero, the first one, they are labeled PP22 and PP23. And on the Raspberry Pi 02, they are labeled DP and DM. So on the Raspberry Pi CM4, this is another one of those problems similar to the first one where the Pi is not inserted properly. And I drop it. I forgot the Wi-Fi antenna was plugged in. So if you remember the last time we were in here, the connector closest to the GPIO was the one that wasn't inserted properly. That one takes care of almost all of the operation of the Pi as far as the PS Pi is concerned. The other side of the connector, as far as the PS Pi is concerned, only handles USB. And that's the side that's not inserted properly. We're going to push that down until you hear it click, same as before, and plug it back in. So now we power it back on and we can plug the keyboard back in. I'm going to take this long wait as a good opportunity to say, hey, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so. It really helps out the channel. You can see now right away as soon as it boots up that everything's working now. So that's it for the four problems. Uh, if you're having a problem that you didn't see in this video or you had a problem in the past and you'd like to see me touch on it, please leave comments down below and I'll take a look and we'll make another video about it. If I don't see any comments or anything like that, I'm actually going to start working on another video in a slightly different vein. 
I've got a project that's been sitting on the back burner that I'm really excited to get into, and I'll be shooting some videos on that. And don't worry, I'm not forgetting about the PS5. This is probably my favorite project, and I still will be working on videos for it. But the next video that comes out will likely be on something a little different. But until next time, doesn't matter if you make a break, as long as you're having fun.